Good evening. Happy Friday to everybody. We will do our Edge Weekly recap. And first, we'll start with the markets. December corn was up 24 cents this week. In November, 22 soybeans were up 30 cents on the week. To start with soybeans, we closed at 12.39 today. I have more of a neutral outlook in the, in the short term. We found support on Tuesday at 11.92 before the WASDE report was released, and we rallied on managed money getting out of their short positions. Um, resistance is at $12.49 on this contract. We would ideally need a daily and weekly close above this level to show that the harvest lows are in. We are dealing with uh, good South American weather right now as they have ideal planting conditions. We could be range bound right now uh, between 1192 support and 1249 for a while until we get more news on export demand and the South American weather. Spec funds are still net long 24,000 contracts, so they are still supporting this market bullishly. And we are, uh, we are currently trading at the 50-day moving average and above the 20-day moving average, so that is slightly bullish. Moving on to corn, we closed the week at 577. Um, very, in the short term, neutral to bullish on this market. We are trading above all moving averages and the momentum and strength indicators are looking bullish. Spec funds are still bullish at 218,000 net contracts long. The near term resistance is at 578. We basically closed at resistance today. Uh, really need to close above that to test 594, which is the next uh, step up. Support is still at 5.53, where we opened the week before the WASDE report came out. Moving on to the WASDE report for November, it was a neutral report, but traders were positioned uh, fairly bearishly before the report. Um, so when, that, when the news came out, that fueled the market higher as managed money exited short positions. Uh, corn was higher on estimates at 177 bushels an acre nationwide compared to 176 and a half in October, and ending stocks also fell slightly. Soybeans uh, were lower than estimates um, and even lower than October. They fell to 51.2 bushels nationwide compared to 51 and a half in October. The trade expected 51.9 bushels an acre, and also ending stocks were raised less than expected. So this caused the market to be fueled higher as you know, less bearish news than anticipated. Um, so that is what happened this week. Markets will now pay attention to export demand um, in South American weather for now. Moving on to harvest progress. Corn nationwide was at 84% on Monday, and soybeans were at 87%. Uh, progress was slowed a little bit more this week because of rain, but we are seeing uh, guys you know, get, get a good amount of crop out uh, given the, the weather circumstances, and hopefully we can continue getting that out uh, before the weather breaks even more. Thank you, everybody, for listening. I hope everybody has a great weekend. If you have any questions or comments, please reach out to Larry, Susan, or I, and we would be happy to help you out. Have a great weekend.